Hi everyone, welcome to Road Cap Show. This channel is about sharing my experience on how to build practical robots using Lego Mindstorm sets. Today, I'm super excited that I received the latest version of uh, Mindstorm, uh, also known as Robot Inventor. Now let's take a look what's inside this set. Da -da -da -da. Okay, what we have here is many small packages of Lego sets, pieces and parts, and I found this most interesting unit is, uh, I think it's a control unit, uh, it's much smaller than the previous version, and it's using uh, lithium battery like this. Uh, by looking at USB port here, it's chargeable by any devices and the input is 5 volt DC and there's three ports here I'm, I believe it's, connect, it's, it's for connecting to all the motors and uh, there's another three here so it can support up to six motors so now let's look at look for the motors and okay that's the one yeah i didn't open it uh let's let's take a look how do it look like yeah the motor looks pretty uh pretty pretty well designed there's two parts you can connect your lego part in so this is the front part which there's a full part of connect uh, five piece of connecting point uh, there's also another one at the back and so this is the connecting cable. Let's try whether we can fit in. Yeah, it, it fits perfectly well. So let's look for out, look for out for other controlling units. So this looks like a sensor. It's eye shape. I believe it's a distance sensor. Uh, there's some nice piece of stickers here for us to paste on your. Let's um, okay, there's another sensor here. Yeah, I believe the color sensor. So it's pretty promising. And these are the balls and pieces we can connect and we, we can actually build in we can actually build any of these five sets. Uh, by the way, uh, this is the this is the free uh, uh, complementary sets which I ordered online so it's a normal Lego uh, set uh, what I'm super excited about is that I I really want to try out the Python uh, programming language which has been overly publicized uh, uh, over the website and and I'm pretty much set to build my very first robot and what actually I have in mind is building a clock and I think I'm going to call it a chronobot. Uh, yeah, it sounds pretty fancy, but what it does tell us time. Uh, now let's start digging. Alrighty, this is how the Python code looks like. Uh, there's a lot of grammars over here. There's around 50 lines of code. You can see there's some uh, some space here. We, we call it indentation for programmers. If you're not really into uh, coding yet, so I just for a very simple explanation, I use uh, a while loop, which is a clause to describe repetitive uh, actions, which to uh, you roughly can guess here, which I ask the clock to uh, repeat. 60 seconds for each minute and repeat 60 minutes for each hour and that's in in the morning or in the afternoon it's only 12 hours uh, without going into more details i would like to put this clock into action and the current time is 9 40 in the morning so i will hit the run button and before that i'm going to double check that the lego hub is fully connected oh oops there's only 10 percent of the battery i forgot to charge it and it looks uh pretty well and we are set to go three two one oh in action 
Now let's look at the bug function, how it looks like. You see the clock is ticking and it's it now it's seven seconds, eight seconds, eleven seconds. Oh, I lose count. So 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 as you can see from the other side of the camera, so the, the clock is really uh, moving uh, as what we uh, uh, planned. So when the seconds reach 60s, we will see the middle hand to move to another position. As well, so as you can see, the scratch coding is more of a graphical jigsaw puzzle which we put together. Uh, it also starts with uh, some pre-settings, the motors, and of course, there's a lot of loops here which re repeat the, the ticking uh, actions. So uh, I actually realized the scratch coding in a Robot Inventor LEGO uh, Mindstorm, they have uh, much more uh, diversified uh, actions for me to use. So, so actually I add a little bit of the light effect and sound effects, actually this damage sound is uh, what I've uploaded by myself. And let's look, take a look how the, this scratch coding we can put into action. Okay, three, two, one, let's hit run button. This concludes the first episode of RoboCap Show. So if you really like my video, I really like my Chronobot, please click the subscribe button. And our website actually is at the bottom, which is robocap.xyz. I also post a lot of additional information. Uh, the design of this Chronobot, the menu, and the Python code, the scratch code all over the website. Thank you very much and have a nice day.